Hey, it's Adam Goldfein bringing you the legal information that you need. God forbid you're involved in an automobile accident. I'm joined here with Richard Griffin, one of Atlanta's top personal injury attorneys, to bring you that information so you could make an informed decision. God forbid there's a motor vehicle accident. Richard, uh, people think, uh, well, if I'm involved in a car accident, uh, all you're going to do is get them reimbursed for their uh, medical expenses, right? So if I have to go to the hospital or I have to go to a doctor, I break my arm, and let's say it costs a, a thousand dollars to fix my arm, then really all you're doing is getting me a thousand dollars. Is that the case? Well, that that isn't the case. I mean, your personal injury case allows you to recover not only for your past and future medical expenses, but mm -hmm. also your past and future lost income when you're unable to work, or if you're injured and you have permanent injuries that give you restrictions that are going to knock you out of being able to do a career. Uh, that can be a part of your case because you've lost income in the future. So and I was going to say, so let's break let's break down the maybe some of the damages okay. if we can. All right. So you mentioned first that medical expenses, past and future. Right. And that's something that if you don't have an attorney, is going to be very hard to recover for. Okay. Uh, but one of the things that we try to do is to make sure for those people who are going to require future treatment because their injuries are permanent in nature that we get the doctors to provide a narrative or if it's being litigated to, in a deposition, they really discuss what the future is likely to be, what that future treatment plan is and what it's gonna cost. All right, so in addition to the medical, you also mentioned lost wages. Right, and lost wages, of course, are the lost income due to your injuries. That can be you know, something that is a future expense as well if you are no longer able to do something in the future because of your injuries. What, what about for my pain? I mean, after all, it's not just the cost of fixing my arm. I'm in a lot of pain. Do I get any money for that? Absolutely. That pain and suffering, that loss of enjoyment of life, the way it's impacted you, your life and your relationships with your family, all of that is, is a part of your personal injury case. And in fact, you know, you mentioned that there may even be claims for other loved ones. There are such things as loss of consortium, which is a claim that a loved one may have if you've been involved in a car accident. That's right. A spouse has a claim. Not If the injuries affect the marriage in such a way that the companionship or the help with the household duties or even the physical relationship. That is part of a loss of consortium claim that a spouse to an injured party would have. And the interesting thing is you may not know all the monies that you're entitled to and that's one of the important reasons why you must speak with an attorney before you settle your claim. Don't be duped by an insurance carrier that appears to be nice by giving you a very quick and small settlement because really all they're trying to do is have you give up what rights you're entitled to. Call the number on the screen if you've been involved in a car accident. Get the information that you need so you are fully compensated. And if you haven't been in an accident, put that number in your cell phone so you can get the help you need if there's an